welcome back to the channel. This is a very, very brief catch up and then as you can see one of the prompts from the 31 days of tarot. Just to catch you up for those who don't keep tabs on my community section of YouTube, I've been really poorly and um, unfortunately I still am. It's not something that I want to discuss right now but I have mostly been resting and had to take a significant amount of time off of work which, work, which I can no longer do because of what my work is. And I'm really trying to bolster my energy, do a couple of small, fun day-to-day -day things and um, yeah, try and find my, my step and my footing again. I've been really enjoying watching everyone's 31 days of tarot and their other videos. I haven't been commenting on a lot because to be honest, I have spent a lot of time in bed. I knew I would be skipping some of them anyway, but because I've got so behind and because I'm not feeling anywhere close to full health, I have decided to just do a handful of them and scatter them across now and what's likely the month of February. So they're going to be late. If you still fancy watching them in February, you can. And if you don't, that's totally fine. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and give you a quick update. And then I've decided to jump in with the tarot question. Do I have any tarot tattoos, art, home decor to share or that I have on my wish list? So I've decided to show a piece of artwork that is a coveted piece of artwork in my house. You're probably confused because I have the Bonefire Tarot out. There is a reason for this. The piece of artwork that I will be showing you is uh, a... A portrait of myself created by the creator of the Bonefire Tarot, the lovely Gabby Angus West. Just to familiarise those who aren't with Gabby's deck, the Bonefire Tarot, and I'm holding it at an angle. This is the mass market and therefore it's kind of glossy. It is this beautiful, evocative, colourful kind of tattoo-esque artwork that is really emotive if I'm gonna have a people deck I want my people to have emotional presence mostly and the individuals and characters throughout this deck really feel like they have that it's such a beautiful beautiful style of artwork and it really did steal my attention kind of early on in my second wind of my tarot journey so when I returned to tarot and decided I would start actually adding some more decks into my experience basically and so Gabby did a, a really really cool giveaway on Instagram a good couple of years back now I think and I was the very lucky a very besotted winner and was able to get a portrait of myself in Gabby style as one of the tarot cards but with the symbols that were relevant to me and it was so exciting I had to send Gabby some pictures of myself discuss various symbols and things that held relevance to me and she created this beautiful piece. The reason that I'm showing you the strength card is because the strength card is, it's actually a crossover. I can't remember, some of them have the same names and some of them have different names, but for me, the strength card is all of them. So it's the life path card. Is that what people call it? <laughs> I've worked it out, I'm not mega focused on it, but it's also my horoscope card, I'm a Leo, and so the strength card does hold a, a lot of resonance and importance to me, 
and it's one that I have explored a lot. So I was really excited to find out that that's how it would be done. And here it is. I don't know if I've ever shown this on my channel or just on my Instagram. I feel like I have shown it a long time ago when it came. That's the reason that I got the strength card out, just to give you an idea. It's the same sort of posture. We've got me, <laughs> which is, is really cool. And she has captured me. For those who don't know what I look like, she has captured me magnificently. I kind of wish my eyes were actually that big. <laughs> but other than that, it's uh, it's very spot on. We spoke about my love of cats. Obviously, there was going to be the lion in this card anyway. For those who don't know, I own leopard geckos. The cats kind of represented in this beautiful lioness. I just love the power. The yin-yang is a symbol that I have long been fascinated with, even from a strangely young age, like a very strangely young age, to the point that I had, I didn't know at the time because I was too young to know, but I had a, uh, it was smoking paraphernalia, they're called rolling mats, I believe, they're made out of some form of, I don't think it's bamboo wood, but something similar, that had a yin yang on it that I bought when I was six or seven <laughs> that I was really really in love with and since kind of exploring the concept of yin yang and, and what it means and fox is the animal medicine that I have worked with the longest in my whole entire life so this is just a really a really special powerful piece for me and I can't wait until eventually we move and I can actually get this up somewhere different at the moment it's on my bookshelf but it's not really I want it somewhere that I can see it more frequently because I mean this is pretty special how how often do you get the chance to have such an amazing artist and one of your favorite tarot deck creators paint you in in a piece of their art i really really wanted to win this so i am yeah still completely in love with this it's the best piece of tarot artwork that i could ever hope for it will never be trumped it's such a personal piece to me and uh yeah the the leopard gecko is is kind of everything to see them in her art style it just brings me so much joy i mean my animals are family they're my babies you know they're they're kind of our everything so it's really cool and uh i had to show this piece i don't have any tarot tattoos or any tattoos actually despite having piercings it seems to surprise everyone so no tattoos but I do have other little pieces of artwork but how could I not show this so just a little close up and then that's it for today's but yeah very very cool